Good morning. Robert Davis back here with you. Hey, this morning we're going to do something uh, with SQLite uh, database. We're going to relate three tables together in a small orders app for our customers. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to um, fire up the um, SQLite Studio and let you look at the tables. Uh, it's the customer database. Here's the customer table and it's layout, first name, last name, email, and um, customer ID, which is an integer primary key unique, not null, and auto increment field. Orders table, order ID, customer ID, item quantity, price, supplier ID. So the orders table relates to the customer table through the customer ID relationship. And then finally we have the suppliers. Don't click that. And we have the supplier ID and the supplier's demographics. So I got a little more detailed as I went along. But the uh, order ID, order lines are related by supplier ID to the supplier. Okay, let's close that so we don't get any hassle from it being locked. And we'll go over here to Delphi. And we'll start SQL Data Access Components Test. And you see here these uh, SQL, SQLite components. Um, and here's the three tables. And uh, I get those from this um, crystalnet ADO.net suite. And it's the SQLite version of the suite. And you see they have Vista DB, SQL Server, Oracle, ODBC, OEDB and dotnet data so i'm using those and i'll put a link in the description i'm not associated with them in any way <clears throat> i just like their sql like components okay here we go this is what we're looking at the application and uh, it's a simple here's the customer here's the order lines and down here we select the supplier by a DB lookup combo box field. So as we scroll through these, you can see the th three tape relationship. And I'll show you how that's done. So here we have our customer de demographic. That's simple enough and that comes from table one. Uh, table two, we get our DB grid with the order lines in it. And table three gives us the DB lookup combo box uh, name of supplier, which relates to the order lines that relate to the customer through customer ID to customer ID and order line to uh, the order lines to um, the supplier ID. So that's how that works. Now of interest would be especially this little guy right here, the DB lookup combo box. What you gotta have um, well, let me show you the relationship first. Um, this is the customer um, 
fields and we have the customer ID which is a primary key unique auto increment and then that's related to the orders order lines table and so we make the relationship to customer ID in the customer table and then we have the suppliers table and we relate that to the order lines through supplier ID now um, back to this little guy uh, what you've got to have for this uh, DB lookup combo box to work you have to assign it to the data source the list source which is data source 3 or table 3 and the list field is name and the key field is supplier ID you've got to have that and then you've got to additionally have uh, what it's going to update and that's the data source 2 and the data field of supplier ID um, so let's look again how this works and we'll add a new customer <clears throat> and um, let's post that where to go where to go where to go just a minute oh I found a piece here okay and then let's uh, add a line item and that'll be um, <laughs> a dozen fudgesicles and that'll be 14 959 and uh, what do we have whip cream just making stuff up one at 375 and let's post this and we'll pick a supplier and we'll say Zoro's hideout or side out does a lot of business <clears throat> and uh, whoop, there we go I scrolled um, and then we can scroll off the record come back to it wherever it is there it is oh lost a supplier because I scrolled on it um, and we can scroll off of it and go back to it there we go five sickles of whipped cream for wayne martin from zora's hideout and the beauty is we have the demographics for the supplier in the table so when we went to report on that or make a yeah make a report on that um, we just maintain the same relationships in the report I won't go into that now you guys know quite a bit about reporting by now and uh, it's just a simple matter of adding one more detail uh, band in the report and I might cover that in a future tutorial but anyway that's the simplicity of it all again this guy's the the little trick because he has five five properties that have to be set uh, to make him work so that's it in a nutshell anyway my name is Robert Davis I enjoyed making this tutorial for you I hope you enjoyed it got something out of it 
and um, I will see you in the next tutorial. Make sure to check the description for the link to the components that I use for SQLite. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Thank you.